hikers are everywhere. And while some might love the creepy crawlies, some can't even stand the sight of them. Now, I wouldn't call myself afraid of spiders per se, but that doesn't mean I'm itching to get one as a pet either. While some might be adorable like a jumping spider, there are some bizarre breeds out there that are so strange and so rare, they would make anyone a little uncomfortable. Well, wait no further, cause I am here with the top 10 bizarre spiders that are born once in a lifetime. Starting us off at number 10, the giant orb weaver. Starting off strong, don't you love to hear giant and spider in the same sentence? Ah, nothing makes me happier. Well, most spiders like to dine on flies, these arachnids are known to accept a bit of a heftier meal, bats. Now, interestingly, it's actually only the females that are huge, sometimes growing up to eight inches long, but either way, they will spin these huge, durable webs like three to five feet in size to catch juvenile bats. They are known to inhibit nearly every part of the world except Antarctica, but they do tend to be closer to warmer environments in general. The good news is that they are relatively harmless to humans, but that still doesn't mean I'm rushing to track one down any day soon. Next up at number nine, Diving Bell Spider. Despite having all the usual makeup for a terrestrial spider, this little guy prefers to be underwater. In fact, they spend just about their entire existence underwater and only come up to the surface once a day for air. It's all made possible due to a self-made air bubble inside a silk sheet that wraps around itself and then it pretty much just lives out its existence in the water until it needs to fetch more air. But despite its tiny stature and cute air bubble lifestyle, it has quite the bite and can cause fever, inflammation, and nausea if its fangs pierce your skin. So just be careful if you come across one of these tiny guys in the wild. Next up at number eight, the long horned orb weaver. Maybe one of the most striking spiders to have been discovered, the long horned orb weaver has a beautiful, albeit incredibly disproportionate horns to the rest of their body. Strangely, no one really knows the purpose of their distinct horns, but they are only found on females, so it could have something to do with attracting males in courtship. They are found in the rainforest, most often the tropical variety, and although they do have a nasty bite, their venom has not been known to harm humans. Phew. Coming in at number seven, the happy face spider. Native to Hawaii, this bright yellow spider gets its name from the pattern on its abdomen that most often resembles a big smiley face. They are pretty tiny little creatures measuring only about five millimeters in size and unlike many of its species, do not use their web to attract prey. Instead, they detect their prey through vibrations transmitted through their residence leaf. Males will usually die after mating, but females will continue on to raise the spiderlings, protecting them until they are old enough to fend for themselves. And I've got good news for my spider lovers. These guys are not venomous and aren't really known to bite humans either, and aren't really known to bite humans in the slightest. So have Adam. Next up at number six, Pikachu spider. If we can't have Pokemon in real life, maybe this spider is the next best thing. Measuring about one centimeter long, the females of these incredible spiders have an abdomen that seriously resembles a Pikachu face with black tips and red spots all over. But sadly, the males don't possess the same striking spine. They are orb weavers, meaning they spin large elaborate webs, but unlike many others in their kind, are known to bite their prey prior to wrapping it. If you see one of them in the wild, don't freak out, they come in peace. While they can bite you if they feel afraid, it's not going to cause you any more harm than a mosquito bite. Coming in at number five. Goliath bird eater. A part of the tarantula family, this spider can reach a terrifying 12 inches, including leg span. Native to the rainforests of South America, these huge hairy creatures are known to consume worms, frogs, lizards, snakes, and even a bird from time to time. Though, funnily, despite its name, it's not actually their main diet. No matter their prey, they never consume it in public. They will drag it back to their burrow and liquefy the 
insides, allowing them to pretty much suck it up dry. The Goliath spider also has fangs large enough to break human skin, but thankfully their venom is not poisonous to us, it's more just along the lines of a wasp sting. But even so, between giant fangs and recreationally eating birds and lizards, I'll take a pass on meeting one of these guys. Next up at number 4. Peacock spiders. Most prominent in Australia, these brightly colored creatures have a few tricks up their sleeves. They may not be the biggest ones on the list, but what they lack in stature, they make up for in spirit. The males are known to perform elaborate and entertaining mating dances for the females, sometimes for up to an hour. However, it is a dance to the death, as if the females are not pleased, they will devour him instead of mating with him. I mean, talk about some high stakes. And and while they don't spin webs to catch their prey, they are able to leap 20 times their body size, which is incredible. So as long as no one invents any kind of magic growth serum to turn these guys into giants, I'm honestly a pretty big fan. Coming in at number 3, the Goody Sapphire Ornamental Tarantula. With a name like that, you just know this spider is unlike any other. For starters, it is bright blue, like literally sapphire blue as its name suggests, but its spiderlings use usually start out a softer lavender. They can measure up to 8 inches in leg span, but despite their striking appearance and size, they are actually known to be quite nervous and defensive. However, don't take that as an excuse to get too comfortable with these creatures. They might not be aggressive in nature, but if they are scared, they will attack. And they have an incredibly venomous bite with long lasting symptoms. So, if you're looking for a new pet, make sure you know what you're doing before you bring home one of these guys. They are not for the faint of heart. Next up at number two, the Chinese hourglass spider. The calling card to these creepy crawlies is their unique abdomen, which ends in a flat disc with a unique pattern that almost looks like it's been stamped in. They are extremely rare, with only 6 having been seen in the wild between 2000 and 2016. Perhaps they are rarely seen as they live in the ground, building traps lined with silk and mud to catch their prey, or maybe there really are just very few of them walking among us. Due to their rarity, they are highly desired in the spider pet world and can sell for nearly $4,000. Luckily they are not venomous, but even so, they have a super painful bite, so I suggest keeping your hands and toes tucked away from these bizarre little creatures. And last up in our number one spot, Hercules Baboon Spider. Maybe the most rare spider we know of, no one has actually seen one in the wild for over a hundred years. They grow slowly, but as the name suggests, they reach giant proportions by adulthood. They also possess powerful legs, resembling a baboon's fingers, hence the other part of their name. Because they have not been seen in so long, some have started to worry or wonder if the species could be extinct, though no one knows for sure. But even so, they are fast and aggressive spiders, so if you do ever come across one in nature, keep your distance, cause they do not want to be your friend. Well, there you have it guys. My name's Kennedy, I hope you liked this video. As always, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.